Hi everyone! You wanna test your Modbus RTU algorithm with Arduino and you cannot find an easy way to do it. Yeah, you are in the right place. In this tutorial, you will have an idea to test Modbus RTU code with just an Arduino and also the computer. On the internet, you can find a lot of information about Modbus. I'm not going to talk much about it. Just I wanna try to say a few things about Modbus. Modbus is a popular communication protocol for industrial devices. It is used with RS-232 or RS-485 physical protocols. Modbus R2 is a software protocol, not a hardware. This is a common misunderstood what I saw on the internet. To test the Modbus RTU algorithm, you don't need RS-485 or RS-232 physical lines, physical protocols. In the Arduino, there is an UART. UART is a cellular communication protocol. Arduino use this protocol with a USB cable. You can send data from the computer to this Arduino. And this gives us an ability to test our software without any PLC or device. So now, let's check what this data frame looks like. First, you need to send the slave address. It is a unique ID for each device. The slave address is generally a byte. Then function code. There is a data exchange n times 8 bits. And cyclic redundancy check, which is used for error calculation. Yeah, as I said, slave address is a unique for each device. Function code shows what you want to read or write. Data length depends on the question. CRC is used for error check, as I said. So, let's see a simple example. I want to read 5 digital inputs on the Arduino with an Modbus RTU protocol, okay? The slave address of the Arduino is 17. You can change it, it does not matter. Our function code is 1. You need to send 1 to read digital inputs. The request should be like that. 11, which is a hex code, which is equal to 17. 01, which is a function code. The data, still data. It means actually just try to read a 5 digital inputs, okay? Don't have to worry about it. The last ones, the CRC calculations from master this one. The response should be like that. It is a slave address, again the first byte, it's a function code, data, and lastly CRC. This is from slave. We will just try now, in the real example. You can find a lot of information about the tutorial and the mod bus, what I did actually. You can find the link below the video. So, let's see a real example. You can find this tester in my website. I found on the internet, there is a link where I found it. So, first send the code. The code is ready. Arduino is on the COM part 2. COM part 2. Our slave ID is 17. Connection is okay. We wanna read digital inputs, which is a read coil. Okay, we want five digital inputs. Okay, length is 5. It's a binary representation. Okay, the scan rate is okay. And I start the polling. As it's seen on the communication monitor, computer, computer and Arduino communicates with Modbus now. So we can increase the speed if you want, like 600 milliseconds. It's a little bit faster. Now 400 milliseconds. It's still working good, you know. It is, as you see, still working good. It responds every. It responds after every each question. It's good. And let's now. We can make it, the first digital input is 1, here. Okay. 
I made the first digital input is 22 on the Arduino. Connect the 22 to the 5 volt. As you seen, first digital is 1. Back to 0. As you seen, 0. Okay, guys. As I said before, all information below the video, there is a link. Just follow it. See you later.